I do believe that many of you have already seen this particular project on YouTube and in the last to last video I told you that I'm going to bring a project in that I'll show you that how you can utilize this web3 UI kit library so if you haven't watched that video I'll link on that button in the description so you guys can follow that so in that video I told you that how you can utilize those existing component that particular library to build the decentralized app okay so when I was doing the research for the project I found that that there is already a project and they have utilized that particular library for all the decentralized functionality so i thought that let's share with you all guys so you guys can get the hand and you can watch the tutorial to understand that how you can utilize the library and if you guys want me i definitely come with a tutorial and that if you have any specific requirement on that then do let me know in the comment section so i'll make a tutorial on that particular thing with the project okay and they have also built close to 90 plus project decentralized application i believe that they have done a lot of hard work and they have, all those projects are absolutely amazing so I will also share all those projects with all of you guys so you guys can go and check the code they have built Amazon decentralized they have built Spotify they have built Netflix net Netflix and tons of application they have built in decentralized space okay so this is how the entire application would look like I've simply copied the repo and I'm opening in my local host so this is absolutely working fine but I haven't done the configuration for the code for the backend code okay I just want to show you that this component they have got from that particular library so this is the current wallet function you can see the moment you will click you will have this function is also working you can easily be able to customize this one as well this is the play button if you click on that right now it's nothing is happening because we haven't imported that component here is the component so if you click on this it will open up the model and you can display the data which you will face from the IPFS so it's also looking fine you can see all the component we have here and you can navigate to the different pages but right now we don't have any data that's why you can see but they have utilized this that web3 ui kit library for building their entire application so i would recommend you to come and watch the tutorial so this is the tutorial they have built it's by morales web3 i hope you guys have come across this project and that they have explained pretty well okay they have explained pretty well so that would be really great if you're a beginner and wanted to know that how you can utilize some sort of libraries to build a decentralized application so this one is going to be a starting point it's a good one so I would recommend you to give a try and they have also provided you the source code so I'll come back here so here you can see this is the source code they have provided for this particular project okay so you can easily able to see the code you can clone the repository in your in your system and you can open and you can do the customization so they have explained everything that how you have to get your private key and secret key and how you can connect that the one thing I want to highlight that this project is not 100% decentralized more or less is a intermediate so they are providing their API key they are providing their database where you can host the user information those who will log into the application with the metamask they will automatically get stored in your database okay so it's a decentralized you can call it 100% decentralized but it's partially a decentralized it will provide you the data but you have to take the data through more or less okay so that is going to be a really good project for you if you are starting up and you want to know that how you have to work with the libraries because we have a lot of libraries we have chain link we have we have a lot of api sdk for getting the data from the blockchain from the web3 and right now Chainlink have introduced some advanced feature so i'll cover that in one of my future videos but for the time period i would recommend you to come if you want to get yourself familiarized with the ui library which comes with a pre-will component then this is the tutorial which you can follow you can just check that how they have used the library okay and if you still stuck anywhere do let me know in the comment section and do let me know that what kind of application you want me to build utilizing this library then definitely i'll come up with that and i can explain in better way but that's why before i start making i would recommend you to give a try try to at look at least the code so all the code is already provided to you here so if you go to the source here you will have all the codes the component they have imported and the best part is that if you come to this if you click on this youtube tutorials if you click on this here you will find all the project which morales have built okay they have done pretty good hard work and they have built different type of applications so they have the startup file they have the complete file they have the amazon they have the video ipfs tons of things they have so i will also tell you that come to morales i'll link this as well in the description so you guys can check from your end. only thing i want to highlight before i end this video that the resources are available you have to find out as per your need as per your learning so whatever you are trying to learn whatever you're trying to build try to find the resources once you get the resources you can do the modification and you can add extra functionality on top of that okay so i thought let's make a video from scratch on a project using that particular library but i came across this 
where they have utilized that one so i thought let's recommend this first and let's see your response so i'll definitely come with that okay so hope this video makes sense to all of you guys and you guys at least come and check that what are the project they have and they have the tutorials as well so you can find there on their youtube channel as well I hope okay so that's the only thing i want to tell you in this video if you have still have any confusion and doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to cover that have a wonderful day bye bye